Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Travis and Susie here from the Wolf Hunters and we got a reaction video for you. We got that link right there in the description box below the video. Uh, there's a blue link. If you click it, you pick it. You get to pick the song or the artist of your choice, the movie scene, the comedy skit, the documentary, the interview, whatever you guys want. Today's video is brought to you by Matt, Matt. bringing us Robbie Williams. This is interview 60 Minutes Australia. Matt says... Hi guys, I think this one will be very insightful for you both, but also highly entertaining. This is young Robbie at the height of his career, touring the world always with a new lady, often for one night, while making mega bucks and partying on party. Partying and all partying, sorts. Partying, okay, and all sorts. I liked him back then, still do. Particularly early, though, he was just a breath of fresh air, and he actually had the talent to boot. He is actually very old school in music terms. He made a full Sinatra-style swing album wow. in 2005. That's awesome. Incorporated a duet with Nicole Kidman, no, of stop all people. It. I love Nicole um, Kidman. So the old school tends to be his sang. influence. You didn't? Oh, no. She, she sang Moulin Rouge. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what... Including Sinatra, Dean Martin, and of course, Elvis Presley. I found this quote about him and Elvis online. Robbie Williams has revealed he praised Elvis Presley before he goes on stage before every performance. He is spellbound by Presley's aura and natural performance style. There you go. Hold on tight. There's bound to be some superb Robbie one-liners in this. And one particular moment that will shock you. Sorry, Travis. Nothing personal. Cheers, Matt. All righty. Let's do it. <laughs> Hit the like button. Stop it on. Let's do it. If this was anyone else, it would be way over the top. But this is Robbie Williams, the new millennium's king of pop. And he was born to entertain. I'm 29 and I started getting paid for what I do when I was 16. And now more than ever, it's, it, I, I, I am pinching, still pinching myself. I didn't used to, but every now and again I wake up and I go, wow, look at this. I'm the luckiest fella on earth right now. He's oh, spirited nice and spontaneous. Oh, yeah! With Damn. a cheeky schoolboy okay, okay, okay. sense of humour. Oh. Oh. Got himself. There's nothing left for you to fear. Shake your ass, come over here, now scream. Robbie is hot property and has the bank balance to prove it. Last year, he signed a recording deal said to be worth a whopping $200 million. Wow. I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams! I said it completely as a joke, and then when I saw it back in print, I thought, you tit. You know, I think that's the saying that will probably stay with me for the rest of my that. life. I really meant it ironically, but I, I suppose it wasn't. I am rich beyond my wildest <laughs> dreams. This is the 1973 E-Type Jaguar. It's got a bit of James Bond action going on with it. This is the Bentley. Actually, this one's the rented car. But the fact is, I'm thinking of buying this one. Oh, and then the chicks will beat me. Yeah. Because I've got a we got stars directing our fate. Not that he really needs swish cars. He's already dated some of the world's most stunning women. And then there are the millions of adoring female fans. I know I'm not ugly. You know, I, I'm, I know I'm the right <laughs> side of ugly. And that's, that's about it, really. There are many men out there who are very envious of you because basically you can have any woman you want. Great, innit? 
I would imagine it I would be rather. About, thought about that the other day and thought, that's great. That is. <laughs> that was another one of those pinching myself moments. Are you taking the Mickey out of me, or is no? It true? I'm not. I'm absolutely not. I'm not. I think I could have a pop on anything. <laughs> or in I, all seriousness, is it nearly impossible to have a relationship? No, I don't. You know, I, I think that I'm a great believer in fate, and um, you know, it's just not been my time to be in a relationship. But it's coming soon. Um, it's in the post. I'm, I'm sure it is. I put away my shagging boots, but I know where the closet is. I'm sure I think you know what I'm saying. So these days, yeah, Robbie's right. closet is in LA. Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone, just lives down the road from me. Please come through. He's moved there to peddle his Sylvester songs Stallone. to woo the Americans. This is where I keep my pants. <laughs> but who knows like what MTV they'll make Cribs of this almost, patriotic yeah. Brit and that schoolboy sense of humour. As you can see, fashion victim. I love my country mm. a great deal, but it's, um, you know, I, I fought and it makes the news. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Men. <laughs> Yeah. You want to make a bunch of men laugh? That's great. Well, I can hear you. Not on TV. You know how to um, unstitch a black, don't you? So to speak. <laughs> but oh, fame well. for Robbie does have a serious downside. He's a bit paranoid and with good cause. On his last European tour, an obsessed fan slipped through security, raced on stage, and took a flying leap at Robbie. Are you questioning your side? Oh, are they going to show it? Ooh. Oh, push them off the stage. That's so dangerous. And then the next second, it felt like I was in the pit. Wow. Ten wow. foot down. Wow. His band had his back, though. Did you see that? Oh, I thought that was security. No, they all put their instruments down. Oh, let me see this. Security raced on stage and took a flying leap at Robbie. Are you questioning your size? Sarah? Oh, and then yeah. the next second, it felt like, I was in the pit, 10 foot down, and I was staring up. And I hadn't got a clue how I'd got here, and I knew it wasn't right, but I didn't know what was going on. Dang. And then there was That's this angry scary. man just going at me like that. And he jumped down to the pit, and I was thinking, I'm going to get battered here. What's going on? Then he got dragged away. And then from then on, it was probably an amazing show because it... Um, there's nothing like being thrown off stage <laughs> oh my God. Um, to get your adrenaline going. Are you questioning your size? Sarah? How does that happen? Sometimes I wonder that, like, like when I go to a concert, it's nearly impossible to have access to the person on the stage. There's like gates, there's bodyguards everywhere. There's a long gap between like where you're standing, where the stage is. Stage is up high. I don't know how they figure this out. I guess I somebody. Act like Desires you know. it enough? I you don't just know. act like you know where you're going sometimes. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. That's crazy, though. It's really scary because after the event, it goes through your mind that that guy could have had a knife or mm. yeah. could have had a gun or That's could scary. have had anything. Yeah. Robbie also has his own demons to fame fear and fight. When he first shot to fame in boy band Take That, he was just 16. By the time he went solo five years later, he had it all. Millions in the bank, millions of fans, and a raging drug and alcohol addiction. Mm. Just over two years ago, he cleaned up his act and went straight. I've stopped drinking and taking drugs. And um, it's, it's increasingly difficult for me, for me to see you all pissed. Do you know what I mean? And um, I'm an alcoholic and I'm a drug addict and uh, Alcoholics and drug addicts want to drink and want to take drugs, even though it kills them. My day-to-day -day existence was, I don't know, it be vodka and cocaine, I suppose, daily, um, for quite some time. It sounds sad. You had it all. Yeah, it was immensely sad. Yeah, it was tremendously sad, but you've got to, got to go there to come back. And Please. I had some great times as well. You know, nobody does all that stuff because... It feels horrible, 
you know, I had some great mama we're all crazy now kind of times and I really enjoyed all of them and still, you know, quite miss them. Why did you want to get out of it if it was a good place to be? I think that when you're born, you're given out your uh, drink ticket book <laughs> and your drugs ticket book and some people's books are a lot bigger than others. I was given a pamphlet and I opened mine up and they'd all gone and they'd all been used and my body just went, you know what? No more now. So come on, jump. One more. Take the ride. You do like the Aussie girls, don't you? Absolutely. Absolutely. Who's your favourite? There's quite a few. But I've got to say that there's been a smorgasbord of uh, just pure loveliness that's come my way in the last couple of years. Carly Minogue? She's great, isn't she? She's great. I think Danny rocks. Do as you? Well. Rachel Hunter? I know, the list is endless. Well, She's down from Down that Under. Way. Yeah. yeah, down that way. Yeah. The time is right, your perfume fills my head, the stars get red and all the night's so blue. And then, of course, there's Nicole. And then I go and spoil it all by saying something stupid like I love you. Nicole Kidman, why did you choose to duet with her? I think, you know, she is the style icon of um, our time now. She's a real princess, you know, and she's... Uh, Could you marry that sort of princess, that sort of woman? Absolutely. Yeah, wow. absolutely. I don't okay. mean to be cheeky, but um, was there more to it than just the singing? Was that it's not all singing, as you well know. Um, but no, not really. You know, I, I'm shy. Well, I was. Right now I'm on really wicked medication and it stops me from being shy. And I really think I'm great. So I'd have no problems now, but at the time I was just too shy, you know. So if I, was, be, if you... I was little me and she was like screen goddess. But now you feel a bit more equal with her. Yeah, but I'm a bit more Bond these days. Me thinks to myself. Well, of course, there have been those rumours that you could be a 007 one day. Yeah, I started those rumours. <laughs> I start all the good ones. I really do. The great in bed rumour. Uh, I started that. The then there's that bed. other rumour. Could you ever fall in love with a man? With a man? Hmm. Um, I, I can love men as my brothers, hmm. yeah, but uh, it was regard to anything sexual or you know, heavy petting. It's not <laughs> something that I want to do. But you have pushed that gay line. Is that just for the shock value? In an awful lot of people's minds, I'm gay. You know, no matter what I say. And the thing is, if you deny it, he's denied it, he's definitely gay. Mm. So all I can say is that uh, I really want to marry a woman and fall in love, please. I get the picture, Robbie. So he's got this side to him that's like chasing ladies, got all these ladies, ladies each night, da da da. But then he does come through and says, "But I would like to be married and fall in love." Yeah, I mean that's definitely uh, uh, wanting, a, a, you know, a foot on two ladders. You can only go so high in either mm. direction before yeah. you have to take your foot off that's good one point. of the ladders. And then you got to commit. You yeah. got to commit to either that player lifestyle. You got to commit to, you know, that yeah. monogamous lifestyle. And you can't have your feet. I can't imagine how hard it is, though, like when the selection is so many to find the soulmate or, or yeah. to learn I mean, how to compromise or oversee flaws and things like that. You know what I mean? Or accept flaws, you know. I can't imagine how hard it is to find someone who's just genuine. Yeah. And not, you know, trying Star to... Starstruck. Or, tr or trying to money. create themselves to be something that they're not, which we yeah. all know that no one can do for a lifetime. Yeah, right. So, you know, that's difficult. You have to fish through, you know, people who are trying to be perhaps something that they yeah. can't be, yeah. you know? It's crazy. Help me. I need to rest in arms Keep me safe from home I'm pouring rain My ambition and my dream now is the white picket fence and the kids running around, you know, and the uh, 
And the wife. And that's what I want next. If I came back in 10 years time... I don't fancy you. I'm not putting it on you. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> if I came back in 10 years time, would you have the white picket fence? And I'd have probably have had the white picket fence and the divorce. Don't say that. Oh, that's sad. Regrets, I have had a few. But then again, too few to mention. I like this side around you. What is next, do you think? I don't know. I don't really know. But um, I'm excited about whatever it will be. I'm because it'll be a bit out of the ordinary. Oh, surprise me. Hopefully, anyway. I don't want to do another Robbie Williams album for a long time. I'm going to break me up, man. I'm going to break me up. I've already been together longer than the Beatles. And did it more and wow. I have just one last question for Robbie before I say goodbye. Who's your favourite singer? Who's my favourite? Dean Martin. I suppose. How about Tom Jones? What do you reckon of him? Tom Jones has an amazing, immense voice. You can do him. Maybe you can, can't you? I'm not going to. I wasn't going to ask you. No, you, you do you, you think I was coming from <laughs> you from that point of view? Uh, you know, I'm sure... I, uh, normally, I'd have got up and gone, you got to learn how to pony like a Mona Barone. <laughs> but I'm not doing that. I thought so. I'm not doing <laughs> Robbie that. Williams, I love thanks, it. Mate. Thanks, man. <laughs> That was great. I love that. That was a good one. Yes, Hello. I love I'm that Liam so much. Thanks I for love watching. that. Uh, so keep you know, you get to, that we got to see, you know, that softer side of Robbie, yeah. that he is, you know, hoping for something long term. And I think that that is that's hard for a normal person who's not uh, known around the world. Yeah. You know, so I can't imagine what that's like. And I hope the best for him. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Thank you guys for hanging out. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Also, check out this link below in the description box to request your own personal reaction video. Stay tuned. Stay positive. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.